Well, well there guys, what's going on? It's that time of the week again, the Battlefield Top Plays here with myself, Big Money 06, and today we've got episode number 62. First things first, as per usual, you guys voted for Rezo Styles last week in the comments section. So uh, if you want to check out his YouTube channel, it's in the description below as well as a link to last week's episode. And don't forget that you guys are going to be casting your votes in the comments section with the name of the person with the best clip this week. So don't forget to leave your votes down below and also help support the show hitting the like button as well while you're down there, you know. But let's do this. First clip today we have Ratata, and if you might think he may be playing the wrong game here, you'll be sadly mistaken, as he takes the head off of that first guy there as he came trudging up that hill over the other side there, as he uh, turns his attention towards this mav up here on top of the crane. My god I hate people that camp on that crane. As he moves down towards this little corner just here, there's a couple of guys just chilling down here, wipes one over the pistol and goes for a NINJA STAB MOTHERFUCKER Been a while since we've used one of those Moves down in this direction here, looking for some more melons to pop, can't see anyone straight away but notices this guy doing his little sidestep here and takes his eyeballs through his head As he comes around this corner, Stevie Wonder approaches, doesn't see him completely, has a little no scope but then eventually does turn around but then he just gets his head blasted off as well Very good accuracy here from Ratata as he comes around this corner here, sees one guy charging right towards him, shoots him in the head, he has the second one, and then a third one there as the guy just face slides towards him. It's very rare that you see accuracy this great with snipers in Battlefield 3 as he takes out one guy and then goes for a second dome piece there, but unfortunately does get taken down. Next up here we have Granada de Fumasa, so he's playing Operation Metro of course, where else is he gonna be? And he's got himself a P90. They only have one MCOM station to take, none of his teammates are this far up, so this is gonna be a solo mission. He sees one guy, takes him down with these, and circles around towards the MCOM. MCOM, taking out another one and a two before he goes into the MCOM station itself. Mr. Balaclav is just doing a dance in there and uh, Granada does not like that so he takes him down, chucks a grenade in there, backs off to replenish his ammo and stuff and see what the next wave has to offer. His grenade did kill one guy, Mr. Sniper in the corner does not have a clue what's happening as he takes him down and goes in and arms the MCOM. Anyone else gonna rush in? No? Anyone? Where are you? Okay, that's a teammate. It's all good. We've got some support now. You guys are a bit late, but at least you're here now. As he runs out, he's like, oh my god, what the hell? The whole enemy team have just respawned. I'm gonna get the hell away from there. He only manages to take one out, gets himself a couple of kill assists, but the important thing is they're nowhere near the MCOM. Backing into the corner just now, he doesn't see anyone else making any foolish runs into this room. If they did, they would die. They do get the MCOM station, takes out one guy, goes for a second, but gets unlucky. Next up, we've got a simple little quick one here from Cherry HD. He's playing on Wake Island, he's got an SV-98, and this jet is posing a problem. So he reloads his gun here, has a little look, sees what's happening, sees he's coming around for another run. And I'm guessing you already know what's gonna happen. I mean, come on, as he goes for a straight line strafe and run at him, takes his head off. Very nice there, as the jet comes down, lands, and he runs towards it to claim his prize. Next one now, we have Cartel Gaming. Playing on Grand Bazaar, got himself a tank, and as you probably know in rush mode of Grand Bazaar, the tank is absolutely devastating. He just drives right up to the MCOM station and just plops himself right here. He's got himself the LMG specialization, so he's able to take down enemies pretty fast, while also blasting them into oblivion with the main cannon. Two guys just foolishly run in front of him, he's like, hell no, what do you think you're doing? And takes them out. They take the MCOM station, very nicely done there, the enemy had no chance of getting anywhere near it with Cartel Gaming with his big tank just sort of like sitting there going, hell no, come at me bro. Let's speed through this bit here as nothing really interesting happens and it is a pretty long clip so the second half of this clip is going to be sped up a little bit but don't worry, there is a crap load of carnage. Headshot on the first guy, he had no chance. As he moves up towards this bridge here, there's a couple of guys lurking on top of it. Takes him out, takes the guy out to his right, I think he just escaped so he has to back off here as they're taking a few RPGs. Now the thing about this clip is, Quite a lot of the tank clips that I'm sent, they are uh, sort of the enemy team don't know how to deal with the tank and that is how they end up getting a good clip. The fact that the tank is able to just roam freely around and just kill everyone and that is how they're able to get a massive point streak and a massive kill streak. But in this scenario right here, they're getting battered with RPGs left, right and centre. The enemy team were really, really trying to take down the tank but very good teamwork on, uh, on the tank here, someone's repairing it as Cartel Gaming takes down people left, right and centre. Very good teamwork, 
And uh, that's that's why it's at the top ways because it is just an absolute beast clip all around. They've been hit about five or six times now, but uh, he's taken out every threat that actually comes at them. I think one or two is lurking behind lots of stuff, so it took longer than I actually should have to kill them. But eventually, they do die. There are like three point streaks in this clip here, maybe more of them getting at least a thousand points a go. So. That is a crap load of kills, I don't even know, I'm not even going to bother counting how many, if you want to have a go and tell me down in the comment section below, how many people does he kill in this clip? It's ridiculous, I mean, yeah, I mean a lot of the people, they're just charging everywhere, they're like ants and he's just crushing them left, right and centre. Trying to dodge as many RPGs as possible, but when you're getting them launched at your point blank, it's pretty hard. As someone drives Wally at him there, trying to get a lucky disable on him there with the repair torch on that thing. These guys thought they had cover. He's like, no, no you don't. No one has cover. One does not simply hate from the cartel. That guy in the corner there probably crapped his pants. More RPGs coming at them towards the MCOM station to the right here. And uh, I can't really even see what's happening anymore, man. There's just so much carnage. So as he sprays the crap out of another two and three people, four people, or whatever that was, I don't even know. He, uh, <laughs> and there's not even any words anymore to, to just explain what is happening. It's just absolute carnage. So, well done, sir. Very, very nice clip. Thank you for submitting. So after that carnage there, let's take a breather here with Battle Hystrix's bonus clip. No idea what it is they're talking about, just ignore the subtitles. But he fires up into the sun, and he gets a team kill. No idea where. Even he doesn't know what happened. Next one up now, we have Rent-A-Pro. Playing some Operation 925 Conquest Domination with the AUG-A3. Sneaks up behind this fool here. He had no chance, gets taken down with no problems. This guy comes charging around with the sniper rifle. Why are you using a sniper as well as this guy here? Why are you using sniper rifles? on Operation 925, that's just stupid, I'm sorry. Whatever floats your boat. Sits down in this corner, replenishes his health, as you do, reload your guns, I mean, you need that extra one bullet, I mean, you never know, it's gonna help you out one day. And now he sprays this guy down, as he's too busy focusing on one of his teammates. Second guy here comes charging right at him here, uses the 93R very effectively, taking him down there with one single burst. Took quite a lot of health off of this guy, eventually does finish him off, most speed through this little bit here as nothing happens. This guy comes through and tries to shank him there, and it's just like, hell no sir, what do you think you're doing? He then proceeds to murder his friends, cause that's how he rolls. Guy thinks he can get away by running around this corner and he's like, no, no, what are you doing? Yeah, takes him down as he just hides in that corner there like a little sissy girl. This guy, you want a shank? Ninja stab, motherfucker! Yeah, he wants a shank. Nice play, and with that we move on. This one's a very quick clip here from 661st Platoon. Been a long time since you've submitted, man, what the hell? See, he's a chopper, you can guess what happens. No, you can't. He misses the chopper, realizing that he didn't hit the chopper. So, whatever, let's continue what's happening, and he gets a kill. Ten seconds that was in the air. Yeah. Bonus clip in game comms, listen in. What is that vehicle down there? Is that a tank? Yeah. Oh, oh fuck. Fuck, this is a bit heavy down. Okay, tank shell in the face, now. Oh, thank fuck for that, eh? We actually survived! Oh shit. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. Yep. Oh! Hits, hits the back of the ECM cloud like a bot. Oh god, we're dead. It's over. <laughs> it's, over. <laughs> it's all over. I put it alive. Where's that jet gone? There it is. Oh, it grabbed us. Oh, it's over! <laughs> it's literally Not <laughs> over. <laughs> on its back. <laughs> literally <laughs> over. <laughs> Man! <laughs> what are the cops? <laughs> Irritating thing to do! Okay, just get in, alright? I'll try to. Give us a round. It's over! <laughs> no, no, just get in. You guys are gonna go. You're 100 north, man. Stop that! <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a clusterfuck, yeah. Back to Metro, and this time we have Colonel Buckwheat. Starts off the clip with an M40A5 and the recon kit, running forward down a flank, but does stop, stop, stop. That's a nice hat. So, Sal chucks a nade in there, realizes that Wally's chilling next to him. He's like, okay, that's a weird occurrence, but I'll just take care of that. 
Guy with the battle club in the corner almost gets him, takes him down there. 4% health left in arms to the MCOM station. So of course, he's gonna pick up Mr. Balaclava's LMG here, and he's gonna just chuck some C4 down. Let's wait and see what happens with some enemies. Detonates, gets nothing unfortunately, but he has an LMG, so some damage has to be dealt. Goes all Rambo on these two guys as he shreds them into a million pieces, but this guy doesn't like doors. These guys clearly did not hear the carnage that just ensued right before they entered the room, so he also rambles the crap out of those guys too, as well as his friends. As they all come charging in one at a time, he holds down the trigger, shouts, ah, as you do, and kills everyone. As per usual, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy them, please support the show by hitting the like button down below. If you want to send your clips in, then please send them in to Battlefield Top 5 Plays at gmail.com. Any Battlefield game can be entered as well as your funny bonus clips. Please don't send in montages and keep your clip lengths reasonable. We don't want any half an hour gameplays. It just doesn't fit. I mean, come on. Think about it. Yeah. But people will still do it. Simplest way to send your clips in is just to simply upload the video to YouTube and send the link to the email. All the info is in the description as per usual. If you want some more commentary from me, my YouTube channel is in the description as well. I do a lot of Battlefield stuff as well as many other things, and you might enjoy yourself. But until next time, I have been Big Mooney, and I will see you later. I oh, hope. Please come back. Yeah, bye.